वेलकम ऑल टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट एम सुपर हेट्रोडाइन रिसीवर दिस इज द सिंप्लीफाइड ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ एम सुपर हेट्रोडाइन रिसीवर सो द प्रोसेस ऑफ मिक्सिंग टू सिग्नल्स हैविंग डिफरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसीज टू प्रोड्यूस न्यू फ्रीक्वेंसी इज कॉल्ड हेट्रोडाइन इन आवर सुपर हेट्रोडाइन रिसीवर इट कन्वर्ट्स every selected rf signal into a fixed lower frequency called intermediate frequency so actually this is this is a simplified block diagram of a super heterodyne receiver it is mainly consisting of a receiving antenna rf stage mixer local oscillator intermediate frequency amplifier detector then audio and power amplifier finally loud speaker let us understand more about uh, each blocks first upon the antenna stage the am signal transmitter in the form of electromagnetic waves when received it induces a small voltage in the receiving antenna next stage of our super heterodyne receiver is rf stage this is the rf stage rf stage is basically an amplifier which select the required signal and it reject all other signals it also reduces the effect of noise the selected signal is, uh, is the required signal say it is fs next stage of uh, our uh, receiver is a mixer stage this is a mixer stage the mixer stage receives two signals one from the output of rf amplifier other from the local oscillator satisfying the condition the local oscillator signal f node should be always greater than fs so f node should be greater than fs uh, these two signals are mixed by the mixer and the mixer will generate signals having different frequencies such as fs f node f node plus fs f node minus fs Uh, next stage is called intermediate frequency amplifier or if amplifier stage out of the four frequencies produced by the mixer the different component is selected and all other are rejected the uh, four signals are fs f node f node plus fs and f node minus fs the different component that is f node minus fs is selected and all other are rejected this different component is called intermediate frequency this signal is called intermediate frequency because its frequency is lies in between the frequency of uh, received or or selected rf signal and the local oscillator signal that is why it is called a intermediate uh, frequency signal or if signal uh, so f not minus fs is called a intermediate frequency signal or if signal this if signal is then amplified by if amplifier so next stage of our uh, uh, super heterodyne receiver is if uh, amplifier the if amplifier will amplify the if signal or intermediate frequency signal this intermediate frequency signal actually consisting of our carrier signal and uh, uh, modulating signal or information signal so the next stage is the detector stage the amplified information sorry the amplified if signal is the detected by the detector to recover the original modulating signal actually in a detector the extraction process will take place that is the uh, information signal is extracted from the modulator signal so after proper amplification this detector modulating or information signal will feed to a loud speaker okay uh, one of the important part in our uh, super heterodyne receiver is agc uh, it is called automatic gain control it is called a automatic gain control this section agc section the agc section is very important we know every amplifier has its own gain higher the gain better is the amplification if an amplifier has higher gain its amplification is very high so agc circuit controls the gain of rf and if stage this agc section keeps the level of output voltage as constant even if the input signal and receiving antenna fluctuates 
Finally, uh, we are starting the advantages of uh, super heterodyne receiver. There are mainly three advantages. One is, or is first one is that there is no variation in bandwidth of this receiver and high sensitive and high sensitivity and selectivity, high adjacent channel rejection.